Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India As uh, we have understood uh, so far, there is a difference between the manager and the leader. So, manager is, uh, uh, every manager is a leader because it is covering the all the functions of planning, organizing, leading and controlling. As far as the leader is concerned, the leader is who influence the behavior of uh, others and therefore, that art of influence that is uh, to be the leader uh, that we will discuss in this particular session. So, we will talk about the definition of influence, uh, power versus influence versus influence tactics, consequences of influence methods, types of outcome, uh, for generalization about the power and influence, the nine influence tactics, tactics to increase the influence, uh, research paper, case study and book recommendation and uh, references for further studies uh, as usual. Now, whenever we are talking about the definition of the influence, are we trying to understand the influence? So, according to Susan, the influencing is not the ability to get someone to do what you want them to do. It is the ability to get yourself to do what you want to do. A wonderful definition and therefore, in that case, uh, it is the before influencing the others uh, that we should develop the ability in ourselves to influence and the Jeffrey has given the influence uh, uh, means defined as compelling behavior change uh, without threat of punishment that is very very important right when because we have talked about that is uh, whenever we say the influence means it is coming within so it is without any threat of punishment or promise of reward is there while the third definition is influence is the ability to cause desirable and measurable actions and outcomes are there right. So, they, therefore, uh, in all the three definition what is the common is and that is the ability right. So, here we whenever we are talking about the leadership the leader develops an ability to influence the others in the sense that is the whatever he wants to do he developing that particular uh, direction that goal and vision for the others and as a result of which uh, they are able to develop uh, this particular style of the influencing others. Now, Whenever we talk about the influence, uh, so many people are uh, uh, not clear the difference between the influence and power, because the power is also developing the ability to get work done from others. But power has been defined as the capacity to produce effects on others or the potential to influence others. So, power that in the previous definition also that when we talk about that is we want to develop an ability within ourselves and that developing the ability of within ourselves that is a power and that is why the influence can be defined as the change in a target agents attitudes, values, beliefs, behavior and so on. So, therefore, in that case that is whatever the target agents is there that is the target agent means here target agent means the followers. So, therefore, that the change in the target agents uh, that uh, the that might be the value right that might be the change even the attitude. Now, here if we have to also understand that always it is not necessary that influence will be the, the change. Influence can be uh, that is the already the person is having that potential and by influencing we, we are making that person to use the influence tactics. The influence tactics refers to one person's actual behaviors. So, whatever the in, in is there uh, actual behavior is there then, then th that particular acti uh, activity and that influence that will be by using that influence tactics the, uh, the leader will be becoming the successful in influencing others. So, power is the capacity to cause the change, it is a cause the change, 
influence is the degree of actual change in the target person's values and can be measured by the behaviors or attitudes right result of leaders influence tactics is there. Now, I would like to take this consequence of the influence methods. In the case of the influence methods, uh, it, it is the uh, you will find that is the level of involvement of the person you, we, uh, what the leader is trying to influence that is an x axis. And in the y axis, it is the uh, level uh, for you are, uh, you are uh, exerting that is the leader, leader where the he is, uh, he is exit, exiting the, exerting the data particular um, efforts or influence we will say uh, from the leader side is there. So, here in both the cases whenever we are talking about the level of involvement of the person we are trying to influence and the level of the um, uh, level for, for uh, the leader who is exerting this particular influence then first will be there, there will be the resistance will be there. right? So, naturally uh, as we know that there is a resistance to change whenever the leader is influencing the, the followers. Hmm? So, that followers may be having a certain resistance, right? but here we are not using the any coercion or pressure or power or authority as on the that particular uh, uh, person because that level of involvement of the person in the beginning um, that will be the uh, uh, resistance will be there. But as we are getting this particular influence, then in that case of this influence, we will have the compliance and in compliance, coalition, personal appeal and the uh, integration of the exchange is there. And third one is the commitment where the we are having, uh, finally, what happens that commitment becomes high. So, a journey starts from the, the resistance to the commitment. Now, now, this uh, particular power, uh, then we have talked about uh, that different power uh, and then different types of the power in the, our previous session also. Likely, if the request is believed to be important to the leader hmm, and compliance will be the in the commitment, right? In the commitment, if it connect with the power, that is the here, it will be that is the it is important with the leader, that is the reference power is there. Whenever we are talking about the compliance, the request is perceived to be unimportant to the leader and the resistance will be for the something that will bring harm to the leader, that will, that will be the resistance. In legitimate power, possible if the request is polite, likely if request or order is seen as legitimate and possible if the arrogant demands are made, a request does not appear proper. So, therefore, in that case, whenever we are talking about this journey, right from the commitment uh, to the resistance uh, while in the case of the compliance also then we will find that is the the followers right uh, who are having that particular uh, uh, resistance and then in that case the which source of uh, leader to influence will use so that will be the reference power will be used whenever uh, when there is a resistance uh, of the arrogant demands then de definitely in that case there will be the legitimate power will be used. So, uh, here the, uh, the leader can use either the reference power or he can use uh, about the legitimate power legal power he can use. Now, the next power is that is about the expert power. So, in case of this, uh, if there is a re resistance is there, arrogant and insulting are the subordinate opposed task goals, and then uh, the, the leader will use the, uh, uh, to influence will use expert power. If the request is persuasive and subordinate share the leader's task goals, then definitely that expert power will be used. Well, in the case of this compliance uh, for the, by the follower, uh, persuasive but the subordinates are apathetic about the task goals are there. Coercive power, if they used in a hostile and manipulative way, right? Then the uh, then the, uh, there the commitment will be very unlikely. And compliance is possible if used in a helpful and non-punitive way. If you are using the coercive power, reward power in a manipulative, arrogant way is uh, there is a resistance. Then possible if used in a uh, very personal way, then the reward power is used and compliance will be if used in a mechanical or the impersonal way is there. So, therefore, according to the what type of the resistance is there by the follower, 
and the leader can use the appropriate uh, power to influence the follower. When it is matching, the style of resistance and the use of power is matching, then definitely in that case you will find that is the compliance is more and commitment is high. The four generalization about the power and influence are effective leaders typically take advantage of all their sources of power and leaders in well functioning organizations are open to being influenced by their subordinates. Leaders vary in the extent to which they share power with the subordinates and effective leaders generally work to increase their various power bases or becoming more willing to use their coercive power is there. And therefore, in that case, uh, uh, it, 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 it is a match match between the power and influence. That power and influence has to be used appropriately with that particular follower. And uh, whenever uh, there is the uh, resistance is there and you are matching the power then definitely in that case uh, the, actually what extent do you use that also you have to take care of right. And if you are using the, that power into the right way then definitely in that case you will find that is the uh, you, you are willing to make the more and more use of that power and you learn with the period of experience. Uh, what is important is that you should know that is in a, uh, what type of uh, commitment you want to generate into in your followers, what type of compliance you want to in generate in your followers. So, then what type of the power I have to use. So, once you know these uh, five types of powers then definitely you will be able to um, uh, get the power of influence and that will be the uh, power will be as a part of influence tactics. So, uh, in the um, uh, uh, hard tactics it is a request legitimating and the correlation is there. The soft tactics are the rational persuasion, socialization, exchange, personal appeal, consultation and inspirational appeals will be there. They are the more focused on self and more focused on others. So, therefore, in that case uh, whenever we are talking about uh, inspirational appeals, I would like to take the inspirational appeals first. So, therefore, they are more focused on others and these soft tactics which we are talking about uh, the in inspiring others right, then definitely this, this will be the best situation in any organization. Whenever the, uh, the leader when he use the soft tactics and uh, the soft tactics uh, which, uh, which are, which are uh, having the uh, a very cordial environment. The uh, culture of the organization will be very, 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 very influential and therefore, we have to go for the inspiration. But inspirational will not be using by the coercive power, it, it has to be by the socializing. What uh, I will suggest that is the in the using of the soft tactics, uh, the first is that is the you go for the socialization and when you go for the socialization you will understand that is the what is the level of uh, maturity of your follower and then accordingly you will use the inspirational tactics. I would like to give the example whether the money is to be used or rewards right. So, monetary rewards or non-monetary rewards. So, by socialization you will understand which type of reward will work. So, these hard and soft tactics which we are using and they, that has to be very, very, um, uh, uh, very, very cautiously to be used right and therefore, that a leader requires that ability hmm, to understand the followers perspective which I was giving the example of the monetary and non-monetary is there. So, therefore, in that case the followers perspective and characters and inner motivation that is very important. If we uh, and that is why what is important is socialization process is very important. The interaction, the communication, the in, in, informal meetings right. So, therefore, uh, uh, the simple example is uh, uh, that is about the tea club and then, then in that case uh, whenever you interact uh, uh, over a cup of tea. So, many things uh, which you will be in your knowledge about the followers perspectives and characteristics and then definitely make by making the uh, uh, proper uh, 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 tactics you can use. Now, we will go first for the hard tactics how to use these tactics. The simplest influence approach. So, requesting is when the leader uses simple demands to get others to take action 
it is the influence approach at the as the core of command and control leadership is there. So, nowadays you see that is the even superior when uh, giving any instruction to the subordinate, he talks about that is uh, uh, I will request you that you do it uh, uh, within time. <laughs> So, therefore, in that case actually it is an instruction, but the word will be used that is the request. So, therefore, the message uh, is go, uh, uh, message goes to this follower that it is a request is there. Uh, like I want uh, you to inform Jack that uh, leading or could you please call Frank right and the I did ask you to inform him have you had a chance to do it. So, when, he, when, when uh, it is not like this that I did ask you to inform him whether you are informed or not. No, no, the, this is not the, uh, the, term, uh, the, uh, the terminology or the communication you will use. So, that is the have you had a chance to do it, right. So, therefore, it is very polite and whenever this polite is there, uh, then, then we will say that is the leader is influencing the behavior of follower by the requesting. But you will say that why this requesting is into the hard tactics is there. So, requesting is into the hard tactics because it is very hard to follow. The implementation of these tactics are very hard. Uh, so, that is why uh, this is called the hard tactics are there. And the second hard tactics is legitimizing the tactics is there. When agents make requests based on their position or authority. For instance, when leaders show that what they want is consistent with the policy, procedure or company culture, right. So, therefore, that legal background of the leader and uh, that will be making this type of these situations. Um, typical statements by leader using legitimating tactics includes according to policy, right. So, all air travel must be and therefore, in that case uh, uh, that, that is what he is suggesting all air travel must be by economic class. <laughs> so, therefore, in this particular statement uh, uh, that we will talk about that is the uh, uh, <laughs> there is a legitimating request you can say and uh, here the follower get influenced by this type of these statements uh, that is this is the policy and he has to follow. This is the rule boss has told this is the rule and that he has to do if you want to continue in that organization, right. The CEO has asked me to look into now, now, now this type of the words then definitely they are becoming the highly legitimate words are there because the already the uh, the hint has been given that that is the that CEO uh, the, is intent to do this. So, you have to do this, right. The third hard tactics is the coalition tactics there that is from consultation in their way are used when agents seek the aid or support of others to influence the agent target right that is a follower basically. Um, coalition tactics includes uh, um, uh, the creating a network of supporters to extend the leader's power base. Now, here I will also like to mention the word that is the whenever uh, the word has been influenced the target. Um, so, target is means what? Target means that uh, uh, I am uh, for your understanding saying the follower, but the target means this subordinate, right. So, because uh, he is not follower, why he is not follower and target has been word used, when he will follow that whatever influence you, you are doing the influence, then he will become the follower. So, the, these um, uh, us versus them situation is there, like the Jake and I both think that right. So, therefore, everyone on the finance team says. Hmm? So, therefore, what is the approach? The leader's power base has been used, group position are creating uh, a particular situation in which say that is the, uh, the, the management, management has uh, thought right as a team we have to do this. So, therefore, in that case it is always that is the yes we, we are supposed to do these things right. So, then in that case that that, that will be the um, uh, the communication by saying and that is the yes uh, this group has decided like this. Then the rational persuasion this is the really in the soft tactics uh, uh, this is becoming a very very logical and most of the leaders they use this rational persuasion is there. When an agent leader uses logical arguments or the factual evidence to influence others right. So, therefore, in that case they are the logical arguments are there. 
to make a case using rational persuasion, uh, leaders rely on having the knowledge or expertise to present facts analytically or they provide the charts, graphs and data statistics, uh, photographs or other forms of the proof is there. So, therefore, in that case uh, you will find that is the here it is the logical arguments are there. At workplace, whenever we talk about the influence to target, uh, I think uh, that is this uh, rational persuasion that is becoming more and more logical is there. So, uh, given the data available, the most logical approach is that is a justification. If we give the justification for the any particular uh, instruction or advice or uh, any order, then definitely in that case that will be more uh, likely to compliance. And then the socializing is there, um, uh, I, I, I emphasize more on this, uh, hopefully most of you are taken this particular subject uh, because this is from the uh, having the HR orientation and you know, human resource orientation. So, that human resource orientation is that is about the socializing. So, if you want to learn and practice the uh, that uh, human resource approach, then socialization is must and I am sure most of you must be having that socialization process. So, whenever the agent, agent means leader, he is not still a leader hmm, because he is trying to influence. Once influence will be done, he will be leader and the target will be follower. Right? That is why the author has used the word agent here. To get you in a good mood before making a request, socializing uses praise and flattery before or during an attempt to get others to carry out a request uh, right so you start you start with the praise oh your handwriting is very good you are very sincere you, you are very punctual you are very so that is what that, that is the praise and flattery you are starting to right and then then you make a proposal that is the that you you complete this report right would you like to be the part of this project uh, and the academic paper sometimes refer to socializing as the ingratiation and therefore, in that case uh, this type of these practices whenever you are using, so you are supporting more and more uh, the socialization processes there. And I will suggest uh, um, this uh, particular soft tech test to make the best use of it wherever possible and find out the opportunities to uh, adopt this uh, socializing process. Then the exchange, influencing a target uh, through the exchange of favors is labeled the exchange, right. So, therefore, in that case uh, uh, with exchanging leaders give something of value to the people being laid in return for getting something they want, right. So, therefore, uh, but here uh, you have to understand what my, my follower wants and, uh, and what is the demand, sometimes demand may be more right. So, asking directly demand may be sometimes it will be risky, uh, but by understanding and then giving that fulfilling that demand that will be more influential technique. In return for participating in this employee survey, I will send you the aggregated results, <laughs> right. I do not know how much it will be influential uh, because the people may be interested in that uh, um, aggregated results, people may not be interested in aggregated results. But yes, if there is a demand is there, then definitely that concept of reciprocity uh, that will be justified. That in otherwise, whatever the results you are having, you are making the survey and whatever results you are uh, making and I do not bother, then that will not be the right influence technique. The personal appeals are there, agents use personal appeals when they ask another to do a favor out of friendship is there and typical statements by a leader using personal appeals are you and I go back a long time in this company, I would really like your help on. So, you know you are in influencing that particular person by making the our uh, personal request to uh, that particular target, so that uh, we are asking him for a favor. I need to ask you for a favor and therefore, in that case uh, whenever we are talking about the personal appeals, then definitely we are asking for the favor to the pers personally favor is there. 
Consultation, it is also a formal process and uh, very recognized process. On the others, participatory leadership is a form of consultation and consultation means asking others to help the leader arrive uh, at an acceptable solution. Appealing to others expertise, asking for inputs, probing for feedback, inviting others to participate uh, or becoming the uh, to involved uh, in a process and therefore, in that case uh, it, it is the always important that is the you, you involve more and more people because you see that is the input which you will be getting or maybe as a feedback you are getting then definitely that, that will be helping you to creation of your vision and achievement of the goal. Typical statements by leader using the consultation tactics are my suggestion is that we do x, y, z what you what you suggest in my opinion what would be the advantage and disadvantages and knowing is the industry do you see a merger as the best choice is there. So, whenever you are getting actually what in all the three questions uh, statements you will find what is the common is there that is the question mark is there and you are getting the opinion from the others and by getting that opinion from the other that is the consultation process uh, you, uh, you will get the ideas. The last one is the inspirational appeals right. So, that is the, that is in the true sense uh, that is the influence of the leader. Last to come inspirational appeals the core ingredients of inspirational leadership. Leaders using these tactics appeal to people's values and ideas to seek to arouse the emotions to gain commitment for a request or a proposal is there. So, whatever you want to get done from the particular person right and when you are making this appeal then de de definitely in that case uh, these are connected with the emotions and leader using inspirational appeals might say you are the best one to handle this negotiation because you care about being both business like and environmentally sensitive. Right. So, therefore, in that case it, 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 it is very very uh, uh, emotional appeal right and emotional connect that is the you are caring about the being both business and therefore, in that case uh, the person feels uh, uh, personally responsible he wants to do that and therefore, in that case uh, uh, that is becoming the more and more uh, influential to the, uh, uh, the, uh, the target. Tactics to increase the influence uh, and these are the nine these were the nine tactics uh, which we have talked about uh, that is how to influence the others are there. Now, whenever we are talking about the offer assistance uh, decrease workload right. So, therefore, uh, what, uh, what happens by using these tactics what we do decrease workload improve quality of work because the uh, two brains are better than one and help with the goal attainment or make others feel appreciated. And the standout says source offer valuable information resources are the ex expertise is there right. So, therefore, that is uh, you become a special source uh, st uh, then step in a resolve conflicts and the pursue team members think differently is there. So, therefore, in that case if there is a conflict that is also resolved and the when team members think differently then they, they lead to the discovery of alternate solutions are the new opportunities you are creating. So, naturally when new opportunities are created then definitely the uh, your target uh, that the, who is converted now into the follower he will like to grab those particular opportunities. By uh, getting those opportunities then uh, the relationship between this uh, agent and target that will be uh, much better and therefore, whatever the conflicts they were having those conflicts will be resolved. The another tactics to increase the influence uh, is to go above and beyond. So, collaborate uh, con contribute to individuals and support the team that is a team orientation. Whenever you are having the team orientation in your behavior and not it is the me. So, you might be in the leadership position, but uh, uh, it is not like this uh, that is your approach is like that is the me towards me rather than your approach is towards the team. So, show interest in others. So, indicate your understanding of other people's needs and interest is there. So, a, as you identify their needs, wants, desire right then accordingly you can adopt for the right motivational te uh, techniques and that right motivational techniques uh, which you will be implementing that that will be becoming the very very successful to influence the others. 
So, by using this check, uh, tactics, I am sure that that is the you will learn how to make an effective leadership is there. This is a paper consequences for managers of using single influence tactics and the combination of tactics is there and this is a state university of New York uh, uh, by uh, professor Gilly, uh, uh, Felvoel and the uh, UKL is there and uh, uh, by studying this research paper uh, I am sure that uh, you will be uh, able to find out that is the how uh, these the targets of influence uh, which is uh, which coded influence behavior in the incident into 9 tactics which we have discussed. Right? And the research has been done and this has been published in the journal of the Academy of uh, Management journal. Uh, to learn more about the likely outcomes of using different influence tactics uh, alone in various uh, combinations are there and therefore, in that case uh, uh, this particular uh, um, uh, research paper uh, which, which uh, is uh, uh, having this purpose of the uh, how these uh, nine tacti uh, tactics uh, that will be used, uh, it will be making you the more and more understanding. Uh, particularly in this research, uh, get, uh, in related incidents from 95 evening MBA students. So, that this N95 evening MBA students means uh, uh, they are the uh, working uh, executives are there at a large state university and the students worked in regular jobs during the day at a variety of the large and small private companies and uh, public agencies. Nearly half the students were managers and most of the rest were non-managerial professionals were there. So, when uh, almost uh, uh, the 45 uh, uh, were the managers and the rest of 45, 50 where the may be the non-manager professionals are there and the critical incidents were used to in investigate the outcomes of influence attempts. In contrast to analysis based on questionnaire, analysis of individual influence and attempts are made. In this particular study, so here and uh, here you will find which of the nine influencing approaches do people use most. So, that is a rational perception. I, I mentioned you in the beginning itself in the session that is the this is the uh, most uh, um, appropriate and a proper uh, method to influence the other and the request is 12, personal appeals 12, exchange socializing coalition is 6, uh, legitimating is 3, con uh, consultation is 2 and inspirational appeals were 2 and uh, therefore, uh, uh, here the people are using the uh, least uh, 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 inspirational uh, appeals or the emotional appeals and they are going more by the uh, rational persuasion is there. But whenever we are talking about the team and effectiveness, then these uh, uh, inspirational appeals as you see that is the 90 is the commitment it is results that is the inspirational appeals are creating uh, the 90 is, uh, is the commitment is created uh, compliance is 10 and resistance is 0. While uh, con in consultation it is a commitment uh, uh, is a compliance is 27 right 33, 41, 28, 30, 56, 44 and the 41 is there. Uh, in the case of the request is becoming uh, the uh, 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 the more the compliance is least uh, in the case of the request right and in the rational persuasion the compliance is 30 right but uh, definitely uh, in, in the inspirational appeals however the compliance is 10 but the commitment is 90 now, now you see that is the we we have to see that is the uh, how um, the balance actually the balance is required, right? So here I find uh, if I analyze this data, the exchange is at thirty five and forty one, right? This is uh, I think that is becoming the uh, more uh, appropriate. However, the resistance is the twenty four is their resistance, right? So, in the personal appeals and the exchange here they are creating the balance more um, uh, 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 as compared to the uh, only inspirational appeals because the inspirational appeals are having the commitment, but compliance is low as far as the request is co concerned the very less uh, commitment is there and, and the resistance 
resistance is 56, highest resistance is there in the case of the request. So, there, there, <laughs> therefore, at least we can learn from this particular study. However, every study is with the particular culture and context, just we have to get the idea. Right, and then if you say that is at my workplace, what should be the influencing tactics? So then you uh, you call us for the, the survey. You give us the consultancy call us for the survey. The surveys we will do. Otherwise, you can do. You can go by this uh, um, uh, these nine tactics. Uh, please do the survey. Find out in your organization that is the which uh, tactics is becoming the more and more successful, and then accordingly you can decide. As usual. This is the case study which you can refer and this will give you the that is a which technique is the most useful is there. Similarly, and this will be the assignment for you or the other keys to persuasion and influence that might be added to the IBM program. If you had a manager, you wanted you to do something against your initial inclination. So, what, what do you want to do? Uh, this is the influence book uh, new and expanded the psychology of persuasion. The uh, in th this you can refer right, uh, and uh, these are the you will learn about the uh, principles of uh, the seven principles of uh, uh, the uh, influence right. You can use this so you can find out the different literature and it is how to influence uh, the power of influence for the leadership is there. As usual, these are the detailed references. Please refer these references for further studies, and this is all about the influence and leadership. Thank you.